Uh, well, we're upstairs in the upper sound booth uh, dealing with most of the electronics here. Uh, the only thing that sits downstairs is the soundboard. Uh, this is the Mac Mini. It has, eh, it's, it's our backup system and it also has our soundboard uh, remotely up here and it also has the switcher which is needed for the camera system. Uh, so this monitor is our cameras. It's controlled completely by this, this switch here. Um, I can put anything on any of these screens up on the main projector or on the recording. Uh, so this is the switcher box. It's just a rack for all of the uh, electronics to tie together so that all of this stuff up here and downstairs can talk to each other. Uh, this is just a display so I can see what I'm putting up versus what's on the computer already. This box does the recording um, and I labeled the button you have to push to record. And then this bottom one or next to the bottom one is just a hard button to make it go to different screens that's on this, this big TV screen here. Uh, so this is the iMac and it's really where all the magic happens because this is where I have iTunes so I can play all the songs and I have uh, ProPresenter which is the application I use for displaying uh, really anything from videos to text to Sunday morning services that you can control on your iPad. Now I know you have a number of folders. Talk to me about that. Okay. Um, so up here I have three different folders. This one, the Manila colored folder, uh, papers are all turned different directions because each, each direction is a new section. It's full of passwords and diagrams. Um, some of them are receipts. Just depends on what section you're in. But it has pretty much all the information that we need in here. Um, it also has backup information. So there's a pile that sits under that. Um, general reference sheet for the sound booth if you have general questions. Uh, it's multiple pages. Let's see here. So it's got things from editing a slide on ProPresenter to running the light board or turning on the projector. If you ever run into an issue, it's pretty much all in here. And then I've got like instructions separate from this that it's all in this packet and it's how every little detail turns on or operates. Uh, and then we got this manual here. This is everything that the uh, light board can do. So you can just have a basic on off function or you can put on a big production but any questions you have on how to operate the lights are in here.